we are heading to Bangkok today. Um, we're doing a two hour ferry and then a eight hour bus. So it's going to be a long journey, long day, but we're excited to do a couple of days in Bangkok and see what that's all about. Just checked out this hostel. What's it called? Slumber. Slumber party. Slumber party hostel. First two nights were absolutely brilliant. I only paid like what? Nine pounds each. Yeah, it's like nine pounds. Which Eight is pounds obviously each. the going hostel rate. Uh, we just checked out now and they charged us 70 pounds for two nights because they said, oh, it's fully booked. So we put the rates up without but telling us. No, it wasn't fully booked because that rep yeah. just told us it was Yeah, we didn't want to uh, start this vlog on a bad note, but it's just happened to be not a good morning for us. Uh, these things happen though, I guess. It's just very frustrating because we budget each day our money, obviously as backpackers, and for them to charge us double and not tell us, it's just the most frustrating thing ever. So we are on our bus that takes us to Bangkok. We're on here for eight hours. It's just so cool that look. There's literally like leg extenders. So you can actually put your feet up and we're right at the back. How do you do it? Um, it was only like four pound more to go VIP. There's a table, there's foot things. I can't believe that's like a sofa. Headrests, pretty good. We've also got little lunch boxes on this VIP bus. <laughs> What's in your lunch box? I box think it's actually a snack box, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. These seats are so comfy, I actually can't get over really? it. Oh, we have a mixed berry juice and a little muffin. Oh, how cute! We are happy that we're gonna get a comfortable eight hours. So we just got this pad thai for like one pound time and that was one pound for the whole bucket of that so much yeah it's lovely Okay, so we've just left, well, we're just leaving the gold, no, the Grand Palace, was it? Grand, Grand Palace. Palace. So we're now going to go to Lum, Lumfany Park. It's like a massive like park with a, like a lake in the middle. And I think you can get on like kayaks and pedlos. So we are going on the Metro, which is like, kind of like an underground in London. Yeah, underground, but in Thailand. Open and it just scans. Yeah, it's like a contactless card, but with pretty cool as long as you don't lose it. <laughs> so I have ordered some fried rice. May's ordered noodles. Uh, this was three pounds in a quite a posh little restaurant. To be fair, isn't it? But we're going to the park after this. This was the only place we could quickly eat lunch before we go. Hopefully we're gonna eat in Chinatown tonight. Wow, oh my God, this unreal. Is spicy. So this meal was six pounds altogether. I Yum. For it little spice, but I feel like this is gonna be like. Looks good. Okay, we've spotted this big lizard thing, and it is massive. 
Oh my god, why is that so scary? Look at it. <gasps> why do I feel like it's just gonna charge? May has found the swans. Apparently they're free. We nearly gave up. Apparently they're free, but we saw a TikTok saying they're free to ride around, but we will see. I'm not sure if I believe it yet. This one is free. And it's a workout. It's quite a So, this um this oh, part this is so cool. Mate, what's this part called? I can't uh, pronounce it. Lumphany. 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 Lumphany Park. Guys, come here. It's so pretty. If you want to like a free day out if you're budgeting. Um, because we spent £25 to get in the Grand Palace this morning. Yeah, so that was a lot of money for our budget. Obviously, that's like what we spend a day normally on food and everything included. So, we need to do something free to do. And this is the perfect. Oh. Have to drive. No, I've driven it yet. I'm scared. Let me drive it. I I'll haven't driven it, it in. yet. I'll drive it no. in and I'll get wet. I haven't driven it yet. So Maybe I'm you're going to force me on. I'm not gonna force you, you under. Are. You're in a pedalo floating. Yeah, but I'm gonna look, we're going straight into it. We're gonna go under the fountain, which we've already been under for four times. <laughs> right, no, because I've got a phone and it's not waterproof. Uh, or maybe well, it is. You wanna go under? Holy macaroni! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> May, that's enough now. Thought we're gonna start the night right. Our first proper night in Bangkok. Cheers. May's, May's got the Chang. Um, so we are going to Khao San, Khao San Road tonight, which is obviously the big famous road that where the music's booming and everybody's going crazy. <laughs> we <We've, laughs> we finally found somewhere to come. I'm not sure what kind of food it is, but we've ordered these chicken noodles. So we'll see what the chicken looks like and if it looks good we'll eat it, if it doesn't we won't. Um, I'm going to try and eat my dinner with chopsticks. Oh, you could do it. My mum briefly taught me but not. she didn't give me a skill with like... I can't do that it. at all. I think that's how you do it. I'm not, my mum like holds them up up here and does it like... <laughs> <laughs> I can only do it there. Wait, a little bit. Let me try. Go on, mate. Have a go. I just don't get where it. Oh! <laughs> I just go on, don't... keep trying. See, oh, no, I don't no. get how you're going like this. You got to move the top one to hit the bottom one to get the grip. Oh, I'm actually, genuinely, can't darling. Do that. I've done it. I've done it. There you go. That you can eat your noodles. I don't know how I did that. You can but... eat your dinner now with chopsticks. Hold on, mate. I've got. I've lost the grip. Woohoo! May's loving hers. I'm not really liking mine. So I think I might pop to Taco Bell after this. Okay, we've ended up at Taco Bell <laughs> because I just really didn't like that food we just had. <laughs> May, don't lie, you want a chip. And I've got a cheesy burrito. We had a bit too long of a lion today. Had a few beers last night in. I don't feel that great. It's May feels like a man. bit. May feels a bit rough today. Like not because of drinking. Yeah, she has a bit of a sore throat and also has a um, slight hangover. I'd say. I don't have a hangover. Uh, where's my thing? <clears throat> there. Anyway, so we are getting on the 
metro again to go to this river <coughs> that hopefully has places for us to um, have a nice lunch and then today's plan is to find a music shop because apparently they do really cheap or well, cheaper than the rest of Thailand uh, like travel guitars and I really want one Heat here is like another level. This, it, there's no breeze, nothing. It's like it's mad. It's like being in a summer bed. Yeah. <laughs> there's no breeze. There's no pool or sea to jump in. There's no sea to jump in. That's the no. uh, that's the thing we're missing about in this, being in the city. Yeah. I got a pad thai, of course. May got a. Yeah. Penang curry. Penang curry. This is our lunch today. Oh, so nice. In this little cute Thai restaurant. We just had um, curry and noodles and it only came to five pounds for both of us, which is really good. As we're on budget today. We're on a we're on a cheap day. Look at these. Oh, wow. That's clever. Oh we've got it absolutely stinks. Oh wow. No, let's have a look. It's like dried up fish. What's that over there? Dried up sea stuff. It's like a warehouse. Comment below whether you think we should join the elephant gang because basically everybody has either the trousers or the top and we just, they are quite, some of them are quite cute like those. Um, but. <laughs> Me and May are just really unsure whether to get them because we don't want to be the tourists, the even though we are tourists. What are you doing? Did I you just have. doubt? I just fell down. Oh. <laughs> the only elephant thing I have is my um, cover-up sarong for the temple. Oh, yeah. But I, can't, I just don't think I can find myself to buy the trousers. So we just paid five baht. <laughs> We're going on a little boat trip up the river. Five baht is like let's let's two research feet. let's research how much five baht is in our thingy because that is ridiculously cheap. So we just paid twelve p each. Twelve p each. Twenty four p for the hours boat ride. Uh, turns out there wasn't an hour boat trip. It was a one minute boat trip to the other <laughs> side of the river. <laughs> <laughs> and it's we just... thought we were getting a hour's boat trip along the river for 12p each, but actually we just got it literally one second across the... That's quite <laughs> funny. So now we've got to pay 12p to go back again, because obviously... Well, we... well, let's walk around here. We I mean, it's around, just temples here, and we have nothing to cover up. Yeah, so we shouldn't so... really be this side anyway. I think anyway. walking around's okay. Yeah, that, that didn't go to plan at all, but I guess that's Thailand. She's definitely said to us, she went, one hour boat trip, five bar, and then we got on, but... Yeah, that was funny. Back across the river we go. So, we have made it in Bangkok to some kind of shopping centre. So I'm hoping we're going to find a music shop in a minute. We are still on the hunt for my mini guitar. Okay, look, there's Dior, Prada. I think there might be... <laughs> A cheap guitar, maybe. I'm trying to look for one like a travel small guitar, like for like around 30 40 pounds. But seeing as everything in here, look, Louis Vuitton, everything in here is so branded. I'm I don't think I'm gonna have any luck. We have actually been looking for this guitar for <laughs> all day, I'd say. But, um, and we found some really cool places while trying to find it. Well, they said it's on this floor, there's a music shop, and there's a Porsche shop behind me. I just cannot believe the amount of like massive design shops there in here. Mulberry down there, my mum would love that. We finally made it after about 50,000 steps. Whether we can afford one is a different story, but we'll have a look. We'll go and have a look. So we just went to that guitar shop, but they didn't even have didn't even have what we were looking for, so... Uh, ukuleles only. Which yeah, don't we want. don't want a ukulele. So we're now going to go and get some food to give us a bit more energy because I think my legs are about to fall off. Um, and then the other uh, guitar shop that Tegan originally found is literally a 10 minute walk away. 
We didn't find a guitar. We didn't find anything. Nothing. Guitar-wise. Apart from sore, sore feet. We've been walking. We've we walked to probably be a good 15 to 20 we thousand steps. We must have thousand calories today, no joke. We're trying to figure our way how to get back up to the skyline, but this is the traffic. So we were going to get a taxi back and spend a bit more money, but there's no point because of the traffic. So it's kind of pointless anyway, but now we're going to try and figure out how to get back. Tegan's sad. Tegan's sad. No one's even coming off. Oh, no. I do not think we're going to make it onto there. <laughs> so many people can fit. That's the game. It's like the London Undergrounds, but look. Wait for the minute. Literally. She thinks she can get off. Just about. Just about. <laughs> so, this is the menu. Nice my and small. Tight. My menu's tight. Tegan's got a really small menu. Just so I can't see any glasses. <laughs> so we've gone for what have you got? Tomato pasta? Tomato pasta, yep. And um, I've got spaghetti bolognese. Doesn't look the most appealing because we've just started eating, but, but it's gorgeous. It's really nice and it's really cheap. Yeah. It comes to uh two three five, which is just over five pounds, maybe like six quid. Um, yeah. Chin Chin. May has been talking about getting this chocolate thing here. I think I want the chocolate mousse one. All day, so come on then. 18 bar, it's broken. They're laughing at us. Get your chocolate mousse then. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the Oreo uh, chocolate mousse? Are you buying it for me? Do you want me to buy it for you? No, I'll buy it I'll for myself. I'll treat you. Go, take, take my purse. What am I? I didn't want chocolate, I wanted just a Mr. Whippy. And I got the smallest, smallest one for 12 bar. Wow, what bargain. True. Oh my god. I don't think you can put that in. <laughs> Do it again. That was a brain freeze. Do it again. So we'll see you tomorrow when we are getting ready to leave Bangkok and go to Chiang Mai on sleeper train which will be an experience 12 hours but yeah we'll film the journey because that'll be one to remember she has actually just bought a pen bless her <laughs> she makes me laugh she's getting her change <laughs> I got a two bar discount as well <laughs> why I don't know because you're pretty yeah <laughs> So, are you happy with your purchase? Oh, she's strutting off. <laughs> Good morning. So it is currently half past nine and we are leaving to get our train at what time? Half two? Yeah. So we need to like eat and sort our bags out and check out of our hostel. But obviously Tegan being Tegan, we've come back to this guitar shop to buy this little bad boy. Sexy little boy, which my parents actually buy me for my 21st. It is a birthday present, but we've it's, had to come all the way. <laughs> because they only have ukuleles. They just the only store that actually does only new guitar. Yeah, true. And it's really cool. This place is really cool. Tegan's in heaven. I am. And just like that. Just like that. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Mum and Dad. Thanks, Mum and Dad. So, before we get on our long train journey, we've come back to where we had dinner. Tegan's got, got the exact same again. <laughs> we've got the exact same bolognese and tomato, but we've got extra garlic bread to fill us up. May's trying my bag on as it's like the heaviest thing in the world. We are on the move, guys. We are just getting the last few snacks and then we are getting the sleeper train to Chiang Mai.
we are bored. Also, this is the first time I've been wearing a jumper this whole time on this whole trip because this train is crazy. Um, May. Tell me something interesting about yourself and the vlog. Ready? My lips are a bit chat. So, what about your interesting fact? because otherwise we're just going to embarrass ourselves. Oh no, did you just... Surely you didn't do that, especially what? with a plaster on. No, that's fine. Rock on. Do your rock on, go on. <laughs> Play with your plaster. Oh, oh guys, sorry. So this guy here is making, coming around to make the beds. Everybody's starting to get their curtains and beds made. <laughs> very quick at, I mean you have to be look how many there is to make <laughs> yeah it's freezing on here if you're ever coming on a sleeper train wrap up bring warm clothes you get a curtain as well our um, beds are made <laughs> we've got a little seat, seat belt as we're on the top bunk and we're also right by the toilets which isn't the nicest but you know can't complain <laughs> They're actually quite comfy. We've got a blanket. I've brought my bag, my guitar, and my bum bag up here just to be on the safe side. May's over there sorting her stuff out. We've got a pillow. I've also got my thing. Um, but yeah, the only thing I'd say is just the super cold. Like, I'm literally in long trousers, jumper, blankets. It's okay. It is, it is an okay way to travel. It's not too, too bad. It's not as bad as you would think. Good morning. It's 4 a.m. We're arriving. Morning. <laughs> we are absolutely knackered. Literally, hey. <laughs> the reality of traveling. We're gonna find a McDonald's nearby. Apparently, they do good hash, um, yeah, good hash browns and egg muffins. So, we're gonna grab one of those. What did you order? Um, at quarter six in the morning, I've actually ordered five forty-two in the morning. I've ordered a Big Mac. <laughs> I didn't fancy a double, I didn't fancy a sausage egg McMuffin. I've ordered a sausage egg McMuffin because I'm not a crazy person ordering big up fat but burgers. But I'm debating whether to get a coffee and try and stay up mm. or whether to kind I've, of try I think I might get a coffee. I've Otherwise got a hot chocolate room. and he's making it in a, a proper little, like, there's like a coffee department and then a food department. And look at love that absolutely banging sausage egg mcmuffin come to me i don't know how may's eating a big mac at this time look at that 
She should have got the double. I'm nicking one of her chips though. Yeah, that's true. Also, I added, if you don't add double, double, double cheese. You've got like quadruple cheese. I've right? got like, tri yeah, quadruple, triple kind of cheese because just got to have hella cheese. Okay. <laughs> Been in Mackey's about three hours now. Fallen asleep, literally here. Oh, I did fall asleep. Maze, when we take it in turns to fall asleep on the table, it's not great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have nowhere else to go. But we're gonna try and go and check in our hostel now. It's like half eight now, half nine. Ten past eight. But we're not even checking in the hostel, so as long as we can just put our bags there, then we can go and sit somewhere. And... Shame there's no beach we can go and fall asleep on. Yeah, that's the update for now. Absolutely. Poo -poo. Right, we've we've stayed awake till two p.m. and I'm tired we, now, yeah, I I've feel, kind I've kind of gotten I over my fine. tiredness as well. I think we've eaten as well. Yeah, so we're gonna go check into our hostel and probably shower, freshen up. Yeah, and then really a have a little chill and then we'll go out tonight to the market or yeah, whatever we'll tonight in the old town yeah and then go for dinner together and just have a chill one sound good 